Katrina Lunde comes in, the all-time record holder for appearances for her country, 339 game. Gonna slip past them, brilliant save, Lunde, off piece. A lot of things uh, came to my mind, but the first thing and uh, I think the most important is uh, dedication. She's a very dedicated person to whatever she is she's doing, and but especially in, in, in goalkeeping. She's so involved, she loves handball, she's super motivated, she's powerful, uh, she's uh, really a strong player with a lot of experience. I think it's um, she's a magnificent player and a player which uh, you'll hardly be able to see someone like her on the court. In the upcoming years, uh, it was a true privilege playing with her, and I think she her greatness is really really hard to describe. But for me, it's uh, one of the biggest names ever which played this sport. With Katrina, she has like an extra dimension, like an extra power inside herself. When she hits that moment in the match, she just makes everything. It's impossible almost to score a goal. You can see it in her eyes. So she has an extra power inside herself. And I think she's so competitive and she loves to play handball. So it's just something extra with her. Apart of the dedication, she wants to uh, progress all the time. She wants to be even better. She is a person that always thinking about how can I progress. She's putting uh, all the people around her to always think about developing. No? So for me, example, to, to come to training to, to Katrina and uh, with, all, uh, the, with other players also, but especially with Katrina, is this that uh, she wants to have something okay where she's comfortable, but in the same time she wants to do something that is progressing. No? And she has a way of thinking about handball that maybe is not um, like a lot of other goalkeepers thinking about it. No? She's more thinking from the tactical way and not from the technical way. No, it's not easy to read Katrina Lunde, but you always need to try hard to score against her. As everyone knows, she's always uh, asking for the defense and she's really cooperating with the defense on the highest possible level in handball. So she has a huge understanding in this uh, part of functioning with them. So it's a kind of wall in front of her, which is always also functioning very good. You need to pass this wall, then you're coming to her, so it was really hard to, to score. But uh, it's also the big challenge and a huge motivation to play good against her. Katrina has always been, uh, by nature and also by training, uh, physically very good prepared, no? Um, but what we have been working most is with uh, the tactical way, no? Uh, how, uh, in the situation, in the game, how can I as a goalkeeper play more or less like a field player, no? How can I think in these situations? When should I attack? When should I go back? Should I go a little bit to the left? Should I go a little bit to the right? She demands a lot from a, from a player. So I had this also privilege of playing with uh, Eduarda Moring in the middle of the defense in front of her. And I remember that uh, I almost knew every movement of a back player who was at attacking in a different situation. What should I do and what was my task? So I could say that she really knows about the technique a lot. The best technical goalkeeper. Uh, she has very good techniques, also, yes, especially on the long distance shots. But what distinguished Katrina from the other goalkeepers uh, in the top level is her smartness. No, uh, like I said a lot of times here, about how to read what will happen, uh, to be in the situation with the advantage in the position or the time to be there a little bit earlier. And then uh, she also has this uh, no fear to come to the end of the game, uh, that it's the even or the one down or one up. She loves that moment. Bloom, over the top, may got a touch on it. She wants to play the best and she wants the best from everybody. And she 
I will not say demanding, but she's always fighting to be in the best flow, in the best zone. And uh, this is the way we have to be. To be in the best level, you have to, to push yourself and to push your teammates. And she knows what is, what's needed to be at the top level. So I think this is the best that she's sharing this experience and telling in concrete senses in the matches what the players need to do. And, She's really good at seeing this. She is a great motivation for uh, not only for the goalkeepers, for the whole team. Uh, because everybody knows that uh, Katrini has 100% dedication and she wants that everybody around her have the same dedication. No? So when you are training or you're working with Katrini, you know I have to be at 100%. Otherwise Katrini will not be happy. And uh, she, So she, that spirit that she's had is giving to the whole team. No? She's, like you say, she has a lot of knowledge. She played so many matches and she really has the eye for the details. So to be close to her and as a young player come inside and I was 21 and she was 26, to, to be able to be next to her and feed a little bit from this experience that she had, it was a little bit scary sometimes because she's so good, but at the same time, it made me also to be so much better to be a teammate with her. So. I really enjoyed being next to her. What I can hear from her a lot of times when we are talking, for example, when we do an analysis of the opponent, she is the one that a lot of times can mention a small detail in the opponent. No? Uh, it could be a movement in the shoulder, it could be a movement in the hip, it could be small movements in the, in the body language of the shooter, no? or uh, things like that. I don't think she noticed the audience, I don't think she noticed many other details, that's not important for her. And this is what's making her really good to see the small, small things that's really important for the shot, for the ball and where the ball is coming. So for her to be able to shut everything else out, this is a really good quality for her. And of course, outside the field, she will be different because you need to see more. So it's quite a different person, uh, of course, and more open uh, in a different way outside and more tender, more smiling, more... On the field, it's a warrior, for sure. She's really powerful there. She is very humble. She's she's very humble person. She is very kind, uh, very polite. Uh, so um, it's uh, for me, it's a true star. She, she is really how to say very open-minded person, uh, always ready to talk, ready to help. So for me, those are the most important things. Handball comes and goes. You finish the career one moment, but then it what it stays is like uh, this human part. And everyone says already, like, when is Katrina like, stop, going to stop to play handball? And I always say, but why to stop? She's dedicated to every, every single second of the training. So uh, she's never out of motivation, as you can see also here today. And that she's taking the players of the match, still rewards, and then she's still pushing her team to the medal again. I continue to see her as a, as a goalkeeper for a long time more. I hope so, uh, I hope so, uh, because she has still a lot of power in herself and uh, you can also see, especially in the mental part, that she, she wants to, to continue to play handball. So I hope to see her for uh, a long time inside the court and when the day when she decides to, to stop, I am quite sure that she will be sitting in this position as a goalkeeper coach, I'm quite sure about that. Oh, I, I cannot imagine to Katrina not being in the goal and not playing for the Norwegian team. So I will be very sad to see when she stops. But like you say, in the moment she's always pushing higher and she's always developing. And as long as she loves to play, why not? I'm convinced that she's going to stay handled because she has so much more to learn the upcoming generations. And I think she's going to work for sure in our sport.
champions keep their title, Norway have beaten Denmark 27-25.